Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Profitec Pro 600 espresso machine in my bob. The Profitec Pro 600 is basically the smallest sibling of the Profitec Pro 700 which is a very well known popular espresso machine but it does have a price tag, the Pro 700, of £2,100 which is a bit steep for many home baristas and the Pro 600 is Profitex answer to that. The Pro 600 is about £1,700. I think Bella Barista have it on for uh, 16 dollars and it's a dual boiler espresso machine. It's an E61 group. It has a 1 litre steam boiler, a 0.75 litre brew boiler. It has a PID. On the PID you can control independently the brew boiler and the steam boiler temperatures. You can also turn off the steam boiler if you just want to brew espresso and you have a shot timer also on the PID which starts as soon as you start pulling the shot after pre-infusion and stops as soon as you stop pulling the shot and shows you the brew time for about five seconds after. So the Pro 600 is reservoir fed only via the 2.8 litre water tank which I shall show you. There is said 2.8 litre water tank. It's a tank and you put water in it. The Pro 700 also has a reservoir, but is plumbable. So I've used the Profitec Pro 600 now for a few weeks, along with the Eureka Atom Speciality 65 grinder, which is a cracking grinder. I don't mean it cracks the coffee beans, it obviously it grinds them with burrs, but anyway. The first thing to say is that this machine is substantial. It's obviously German engineering. Profitec are a German company. The machines are made in Milan, but it's definitely German design. And you can just tell from the minute you get it out of the box or struggle to get it out of the box because it's that heavy. It's made of high grade stainless steel. It's made of heavyweight durable materials. Every little bit has been thought of really carefully. And one of the examples I talk about in the blog post review, if you look at the water tank on the Pro 600, you'll see it has a nice little valve that neatly fits inside the machine. There's no rubber cables dangling down in top of the tanks as you have with other espresso machines. They really have just thought of every little thing and in the blog post review I talk about this as being like a German engineered car. And I do think that if this was a car it would be the Audi Q5. Nice big stainless steel drip tray and if I pull this out and again this is made of heavyweight materials. You can adjust the brew pressure here and there's a neat little cutaway here to put your other steam tip and also to put the blanking disc. There's a one litre steam boiler in the Profitec Pro 600 as opposed to a two litre steam boiler in the Profitec Pro 700, but still the Profitec Pro 600 has plenty of steam power. In fact, you can ramp the steam pressure up to two bar by changing the temperature of the steam boiler to 132, 133 degrees Celsius, I think is a max, and that will give you about two bars of steam pressure. Apparently the Pro 600 will steam enough milk for a single cup in around 20 seconds which seems very fast. I haven't quite found that, but then again this machine came to me only with the two hole steam tip. The Pro 600 ships also with a four hole steam tip which would handle the steaming faster. So I would imagine, but I've not tried it, I would imagine that with the four hole steam tip I would be able to get down to around 20 seconds. The rotary valves on the Pro 600 feature the low wear sprung valves, so they're not gonna wear as quickly as standard steam and water valves, which is a great thing. The steam pipe and the water pipe are no burn, which means that even if you grab them by these bits, you're not gonna burn yourself, which also is handy. I found the Pro 600 and the Eureka Atom Speciality 65 grinder. Great to use, I've not had any issues at all, and there's nothing really negative to speak of. Personally, because I've got dodgy wrists, I prefer machines that have the steam valve over on the right hand side. The Gaggia Classic, for example, which is up there, has the steam over on the right hand side. The ACS Minima, which I reviewed last, that has the steam over on the right hand side and the water. And I found that a bit easier because when I'm reaching at the front of the machine, to operate the steam valves. I find it a bit awkward for my wrists, but that's just me and one of my many quirks. Many espresso machines have got the steam and water valves on the front. Some of the more expensive espresso machines feature rotary pumps or rotation pumps versus 
vibe pumps or vibratory pumps. And one of the main reasons for that is that vibe pumps are a bit louder and rotatory pumps, rotation pumps are quieter. But the Pro 600 apparently has a quiet vibe pump. And I can tell you it is a quiet machine. I haven't tried the Pro 700 or another rotary pump machine side by side with the Pro 600 vibe pump. So I can't tell you exactly, but I can tell you that this does appear to be quite a quiet machine. These machines were given to me on loan only, I have to hand them back sadly, by Bella Barista. So it'd be very rude of me not to say, if you are interested in these machines, click on the link below somewhere and go have a look at them on the Bella Barista website. In terms of alternative Profitech espresso machine of bobs, there is the Pro 300, which is a less expensive dual boiler. It doesn't have the E61, it has a ring group, it's vibe pump. Similar in many aspects, looks slightly different. The build is slightly different, but that is quite a bit less expensive. You've then got the Pro 500, which is similar in looks to the Pro 600, but is a heat exchanger machine rather than a dual boiler machine. And of course, there's the Profitech Pro 700, which is the bigger brother or sister to the Pro 600. I'm not sure if espresso machines have genders which shares most of the features of the Pro 600, but has a bigger steam boiler at two liters and is rotary pump versus vibratory pump and is slightly different also aesthetically. And that's about all I have to say about the Profitech Pro 600 Espresso Machine and Bob. If you're interested in reading a more in depth blog post review, click the link below or over there or over wherever it is, just click the link.